So, Kyoka's pissed off at me. Sakura-chan is having a rest. So, all we can do is... Wait, she's in the music room? Fuck you then. I'm gonna go hit on another girl. You wanna go hit... You wanna go out with this fucking bum that doesn't shower? That's fine. I'm gonna go with fucking Hina. She's got bigger boobs anyway. Hina! Hey there, baby. Mm. Ah, crap. Pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking on him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Hey, Hina. So, um... Mm, Kyoka's busy. Sakura's busy. So, by the process of elimination, you're the most eligible bachelorette in Denkarampa. Congratulations. You're next in line for the D. And by D, I mean donut. D stands for donut. She likes donuts. She wants the D. Donut. Oh. <gasps> I know, we should try grabbing the end and... Uh, I know, we should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. Should I talk to Hina for a while? Yes, yes you should, Nagi. You got it. You want to do some stretches with me? Yeah, uh, I'd really love to learn stretches. Why don't you show me, Hina? I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you love to give her a present? Yeah, I'd like to give her the D. Where's the D? D. D. <gasps> a floating donut! It doubles as a flotation device. Naturally, you can smack on it while floating in the sea. It comes in a variety of styles. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makato. <gasps> I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. Oh, yeah. And please don't die. I am sick of giving gifts to girls and they end up dying. And they don't leave them for me in their will. Wait, speaking of which, if a person dies in Dengar, but who gets their stuff? I gave Celeste a lot of shit. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hmm. Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. Uh, how come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race! I wonder who's gonna come first in this race. <gasps> I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm getting frustrated with this kid. That's right! Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. I fucking hate you, Nike. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Are you making fun of me? I am not helping you get out of this one. You do it yourself. You got yourself into it, you get yourself out. No, I'm just impressed. Really? That cheeky bastard. I used to know this one guy. He was always like... Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and say stuff like that. Mm. But if you lose the cold like that, it just means you aren't dedicated enough. She obviously likes this guy. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. Or it just means you're Russian. I mean, they do that shit all the time. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So like, uh, are you the type who gets sick easily? Actually, yeah. See, you're sure. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. What kind of remedy? Stop asking questions and get on the bed, Nike. Yeah. Actually, I do it myself every morning. Go on. You just strip down to your waist, 
Then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it... I call it... Huh? What do you call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin? Let's take a shot at this. It's definitely fucking not yoga. Towel treatment? Is it something like towel treatment? You got it. Oh my god, that's it! Is she fucking with us? Is she serious or she's just fucking with us? I don't know. I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. So you go to your apartment balcony, strip down to your waist, and rub a towel across your body. Nike, you get your ass in this girl's room every morning and you guys stretch together or what the fuck. Jesus, why the hell was I going for Celeste and Kyoko when this girl would just... My god. Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? Nike, would you stop asking irrelevant questions? Just go with the flow for once. <laughs> you should give it a try if you haven't got your health. You haven't got anything. Yeah, Nike. Okay, I'll see how you handle it. I'm not giving you any tips. I'd hate to see you catch a cold or something. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. <laughs> Holy shit, I like her. I like you. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. You're definitely hanging out with Hina again. We gotta get you laid, boy. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here. I should go somewhere. Okay, let's go out. Instant transmission. What, now Toko is... This guy's a fucking pimp. First you get Kyoko, now you get Toka. Fuck you, nigga. Oh shit, did I just say that? I'm sorry, I did not mean it in a derogatory way. Oh, Kyoko's there. Come on, babe, I want you back. You just took out your... Fuck you, motherfucker. Stop touching my girl. What's going on, Makoto? I'm like super exo exhausted. So I hope you don't need anything from me. No, nothing. Except your fucking beating heart. No! Fuck Hero. Hero's gonna fucking die, that's what's gonna happen. I wanna take your fucking heart out and show it to you while it's still beating so you can fucking die knowing that you got killed by me. Wow, I'm super territorial. Yeah, I'm actually like that. Cause you don't wanna fuck with Kuma. Cause why? Cause Kuma will fucking kill you. Or just, you know, piss on your leg. Kyoko, come on. Come on. Wait, what? Where is she? Wait. Ah, oh, she's in the dressing room. Hey, we watched the dress the first time. It's cool. Come on. Come on, babe. Take me back. Go away. Fuck. She won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. Shit. What, little bitch? You didn't listen to me. You did not listen to me. I told you. Do tell her. Make sure to tell her. Tell her. Tell her. No, I'm not gonna tell her. Cause I'm Nike. I'm an expert with women. I'm God's gift to women. I know exactly what to do with men. By pissing off women. I know how to get the girl. By pissing off- God damn it, Nike. Okay, rebound girl. Okay. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. We're gonna do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Yes, you should definitely yeah. hang out. You wanna go for a run to relieve some stress? Oh my god, Nike just went with it. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. 
he and I grew a little closer. Damn straight, I want to give her a present. Okay, what does Hina like? Hina likes... I know I'm cheating, right? Cheating's cool. Hina likes... Uh... Donut. There is a donut ring, apparently. Hey, that's a flotation donut. Donut floating ring, okay. Uh, other than that, she likes... The kitty hopping. Oh, she likes it. A hair clip in the shape of a little kitty. Probably placed, it will make a little girl positively sparkle. Here you go. What? I keep this, right? Yay, ultra stack. Oh my god, she's got the whole kitten neck thing going. Seeing Hina please with something I gave her makes me happy. Uh oh. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Oh god, she's about to throw her clothes off and get on top of us. Nagi, do not fuck this up. Just a second. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. Well, we can do sport if you want. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? What the heck? I can't do anything in here. I can't move around. I'm going to die like a bunny wabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in one school? Holy shit, dude. Nike, we might have to tag team to keep this girl satisfied. You take one shift, I take five? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad, bad Kuma. Six! That's right. Yeah. Track, baseball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one. She got to her main sport, but she ran out of juice. I think it's gonna be swimming, you dumb shit. Your main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. Uh, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in the pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? Well. If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. Which is why I eat 6,000 calories every morning. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? Well, th that's why you're versatile. You know, you're on top, I'm on top. Take turns. I really... I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Fuck you into, Nagi. So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountain top. The highest mountain top? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for gold, even if it means I'm super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason... If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out, but if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try see what you can do in here? Oh. Oh. That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get the gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Yeah, Australia! Australia! Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm going to go do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe around a thousand or something. I actually know a guy that can do 5,000 push-ups. Not in one go, but he does them in a training session. He's a fucking beast. I should really do some push-ups. I don't know why, I was drinking a lot of water and coffee and it feels like it went into my lung accidentally. So, I feel a bit fucking sick, to be honest. 
And I'm gonna do assignments after games. I fucking hate my love. I hate being a uni student. I love games so much. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and as strong as I would have expected. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Yay! Well, that's the end of this day. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. And Kyoka's still pissed. God damn it. Attention, attention! Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. This is not a regular school announcement. Quickly, 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 quickly! Oh wow, something happened again! He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it too. The fudge! Well, Kimmers, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a like. Tell me what you thought. Should we keep hitting on Hina or should we go back to Kyoko? And don't tell me to go Toko because I'm not going to do it. Though Jill might be a little crazy in the sack. I don't know, tell me what you think. Welcome back, Kumos. As we know, Monokuma called us to go to the damn gym. And because we are pretty much going to get type 2 diabetes any day now, because, you know, we're just going to teleport. Instant transmission. I finally figured out how this damn thing works. Sakura, would this be a good time to talk? Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already... Oh, no, we're about to get murdered, aren't we? Aren't you going to go in? However... I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a bad feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina... Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. I... I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um... Sakura? She thinks she's about to get killed. Ah. Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all together at the gym, it began. Ah, here we go, he's coming back. Yeah, he's gonna jump out. It's so cute, I like this scene. Wait a minute, this is the third time it's happening! Talk about budget cuts. Okay, let's get this show on the road. You don't even give me an animated cutscene. Bastard. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Well, he did it the last three times, you tell me. Huh? We have to go through this again? <gasps> no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, I'm feeling black. The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush, just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Byakuya, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey, um... So guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami! Huh? He said it so openly. It made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What, what did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar! There's no way Sakura's a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? 
And I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Sounds like motive, you little shit. Thrills, chills, kills! Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> Either way, I can't wait! And just like that, he was gone. Finally understood what he'd been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Oh my god, for once Nagi figured it out. Genius alert! Um. What the heck? So what does this mean? Idiot alert! Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us? For the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way! But this is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong! You're wrong! Well, he's wrong! He's There's no way! Hey. Well, Sakurai, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. Why are you winking in a time like this? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you earlier. What? Oh, no! Then he was being serious. For serious. Ogre's been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. Go, man. So you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's got to be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Well, he did mention a hostage, so... I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow. And Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. A uh, uh, hostage or something? I mean, you, you guys solved four murders so far. I, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what he just said. <laughs> what? You're talking like you know that for a fact. He just freaking said it! Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. No, you stupid dumb shit. He just said it. What a kid just said he has the hostage. Why can't you go with that? Instead of telling everyone that you saw the epic battle between Monokuma and Sakura-chan. And everyone's going to be like, why the fuck didn't you tell us earlier? And you're just going to be like... <laughs> I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she's decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw all that? The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question, is that it? Hmm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We just can't go around believing what she says now. Hmm. How can you even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff, and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. <gasps> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't even know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please! She's telling the truth! You have to believe her! Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up! I'm not finished questioning her! Come on! Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? <sighs> I was told... <sighs> to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature of the room had dropped 20 degrees. Well, yeah, it is getting pretty chilly, and it is winter here now, so I should wear a jacket soon. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. You're, You're wrong. wrong. I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that. What the heck? You don't have to yell. We can uh, hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible. It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. What? 
I'm starting to think that these winks are just random. Like, I don't get it. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. However... How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them, even if it means we both go down. I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on, what do you mean, if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... but... Sakura! I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Hmm. Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is... Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why doesn't she... Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You don't even know who she really was. What is this? Th that's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But... Anyway... Go to your room, calm down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. I feel sorry for Hina. Naigi, now's your chance. She can't talk to Sakura. She needs someone. Go! It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad that the day was over. I mean, nothing's stopping you guys from having this discussion now, but okay. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Oh, we get another one. What did he add this time? Yep, he added the gaming board at the back. You saw it, it dropped down. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. And a Sakura tree in the background! Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. What the fuck is he referring to? She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Who are you talking about, Monokuma? I'm actually curious. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. That's true. But I don't, cause I'm a bear! I wish I had your attitude, you're so cute! I want a Monokuma plush doll, like my Pikachu. I wanna go wah, 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 wah. I like you, Monokuma. I think I actually swallowed some water in my lungs, my lungs actually hurt. God, the fuck happens if you swallow water in your lungs? How long does it stay there? Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Damn it, I missed that one. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'm starting to look crazy, aren't I? I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Let us go! 
back away, not today. Disco Makato. Okay. Giri Giri. You're just standing here. Come on, talk to me. Kyoko, good morning. She's not even saying anything anymore. She's just walking away. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. <sighs> well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. What part of make her a banquet do you not understand? Women love food. Wait. Uh, um. Wait, Makoto's mad at us because we didn't tell her. But we didn't tell her because we didn't want to feel like we're betraying Sakura. So maybe if we explain, we wanted to ask Sakura first. Yeah, but then she's gonna ask, why the fuck didn't you do it straight away, you little dickwad? Which is a good question, Makoto. Why didn't you do it straight away? Uh, Makoto, are you okay? Why? Did I forgot to put on my pants again? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> You were late, so we were worried about you. But Kyoko just came in. <laughs> what a dullard. The fuck? Ah, oh, my wrist. You see that? Yeah. What a dullard. Toko, Yakio, what are you doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such ignorance. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. Oh, so now you want to team up. The Mastermind's tool? Are you talking about Sakura? Well, this is getting awkward. That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason! What, what did you say? Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible! It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Stupid idiot. Isn't stupidity of an idiot implied? And isn't being stupid more or less being an idiot? Eh, I'm overthinking it. Hey. Before you go too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Oh my god, we click! Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? Oh, that. What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words, in other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But that's not what I'm trying to do. It's just, I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the mastermind, like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Idiot! You You'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? Hm. Interesting. It wouldn't matter. Huh? What? <laughs> if Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. Hm. In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? Wait, what would happen if there's only three people left? Does that mean that the one can kill the other two? Or does that mean that the one has to kill one and then the other person knows that they're the blackened? So if it goes to the final three, all Byakuya has to do is kill both. Maybe that was his plan from the start. You little shifty bastard. In fact, if she did die, that would sell this entire issue, wouldn't it? 
It would put the whole problem to rest. Slap! What the hell? You disgust me! You're... you're a monster! To say something like that? It should have been you. You should have been the one to die! Ooh. What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that s s stupid cow, how dare she? She should die a thousand deaths. No, a million! Shh. So, she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. I don't have time to play with you. And I will happily elude its attempts. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> um, you know... Um... How about we, uh, eat? Maybe now's not a good time. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting good at reading these scripts. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We're headed back to our rooms, one by one. Why can you... Oh yeah, Kyoko would probably just walk away. And you can't force a conversation. Phew! So, what should I do today? I don't know, maybe patch up your fucking relationship, you little dipshit. That's it, we're going to suck it, chan Chem, yeah. They should call it Meth Lab. Look at this shit. Hey, suck it, chan I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. 